Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and man, this weekend, the Joker box office was huge, uh, but you wouldn't have predicted it if you listened to the media, if you watched the news, if you were on any sort of news site. Every single outlet was predicting mass chaos at the screenings of Joker, needing the most security we've ever had at movie theaters. Now, look, I love being safe, safer than sorry. Great. But the media just made such a frenzy for this uh, film that was, to me, scarier than the film itself. Uh, the film doesn't elicit violence. Uh, only crazy people are going to be violent after this film. And the real issue of that film is mental awareness. Mental health is something that we need to be focused on so much more. Uh, people can get kicked down so low that they don't know any other way out. And that's something we should be talking about. And that the film itself, to me, was a really beautiful character study of just a heartbreaking character study, uh, a per beautiful performance of just, God, I just felt bad for this guy. And you sort of know where he's going. And it, it, it's a struggle uh, to watch, uh, but not one that made me want to go kill people. Uh, and I have a lot of people I don't like. <laughs> I'm not going to kill them ever. Uh, and I think that's the difference between someone who's you know has their full mental capacity and people who don't. And the film, if anything should be eliciting that kind of conversation. But man, the media was all over this film. And really, the only things I saw out there that sort of dis uh, were dangerous was uh, apparently a one audience in Long Beach, California, left because of a suspicious subject. Uh, someone was standing in the back with a backpack. Uh, they were dispatched immediately. Uh, he was looking at the crowd near emergency exit with a backpack, but nothing was found in his possession, no weapons. He was taken into custody for an outstanding warrant. And then there was the hero at the screening who stood up against a drunk patron who was spitting at audience members um there's the guy who was spitting uh, and there's the hero who stood up for it uh but apparently he someone saw him put a bottle of vodka or tequila in his slushy before he went to the movies and was just belligerent the whole time and made people uncomfortable and that's never a good experience uh and every time the joker was doing something bad he would just spit and cheer and applaud um so this guy's a complete jerk and security at the theater took care of it uh, nothing else beyond that happened, thank God. Uh, aside from that, what did happen was $93.5 million, which delivered the largest October ever uh, at the box office. So the Joker delivered. Will this mean DC is going to now say, hmm, come on, Joaquin Phoenix, Todd Phillips, let's tell another story. Uh, that's going to be what's, you know, to be D. Uh, it's almost past Justice League, uh, but it absolutely passed Venom and everything else that comes out in October. Uh, R or not R. Uh, so that's an impressive feat. That's a really big box stuff, and we'll know actual soon. Um, but overall, it's number uh, 67. It outbeat uh, Spider-Man Far From Home, uh, Matrix 2, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2, Aladdin, It Chapter 2. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. Harry Potter 1, uh, uh, Amazing Logan, Skyfall, uh, Spider-Man 2. Uh, both Spider-Man 2s. Fast Five. I mean, look at this. this is, it has beaten some serious contenders uh, to come in at number 67 on the all-time weekend list at 93.5. Uh, so good on Phillips, Joaquin Phoenix, the whole marketing team. Despite Hollywood's best effort to scare people from going to theaters, they did not succeed, and the audiences uh, went in droves. So good on you, America, and, and the rest of the globe. I hope you follow suit. Let's not be scared by the media and not go do our normal lives and support art and movies. Uh, we know how to separate the difference between reality and movies. Thank God. Um, and I'm glad everybody got to see it. What did you guys think? Are you impressed by this number? I didn't think it would make 93. I thought maybe 75, 80. Uh, the fact that it's almost pushing 100 uh, is pretty impressive for this kind of film, especially because it's not really a comic book movie. I think they sort of got people in there out of the excitement, the curiosity, the Joker as himself as a character is obviously a huge pop culture figure, but it's not a comic book movie at all. It's a more of a character piece. Uh, and it's definitely more serious. Uh, and I think unlike Martin Scorsese's comments, which we commented on back Friday, I do think it's cinema, uh, especially from an acting per st per, uh, standpoint. Joaquin Phoenix delivers. Uh, it's going to be an argument, I think, for a lot of filmgoers, Heath Ledger, Joaquin Phoenix. I still got to put Ledger up just because he's, to me, a better Joker. Uh, as I said, you can watch that video right here to learn which best Joker. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, was this worthy? Do you think it should have made more, less? I want to hear all your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit me up on social media. I got lots more videos coming for you today and the rest of the week, so be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll be back soon. Thanks, everybody.